What's going on guys? So we are back here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this really cool floor plan in this Puma 28 BHSS. This is actually a pretty nice floor plan, especially if you have a larger family. So if you have a larger family, you want to see a really cool floor plan? Hang tight. I'll be right back. So let's kick this off by looking at the sticker. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,063 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 1,707 pounds and a dry weight of 7,318 pounds. It rides on 15 inch E-rated tires and it has twin 4,400 pound axles. This is gonna transfer roughly 10% of the gross vehicle weight rating to the back of your tow vehicle, maybe a little bit more depending on how you load it. And you should always load it in a way that tries to transfer more of the weight to the back of your truck versus transferring weight to the back of this unit. As we come around the side, you see you have an external shower right here. No pass-through storage. You have your water heater right there. Looking underneath, it has power stabilizers. You can see your plumbing station, rack and pinion slide. As we come around back, you can see it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. It has incandescent lighting. Kind of wish I saw LED lighting, but that is probably one of the most affordable upgrades you can do. It has a full walk-on roof with the ladder already attached to the back. You have your power connection right here. It is a 50 amp power connection. It likely means you have two air conditioning units in this model. If you don't, you can add a second one because that's what 50 amp allows you. Taking a look down this side, you do have a storage hatch right here. Not a pass-through storage, but it is a good size storage overall. Looks to be about five feet deep, about 20 inches tall, and about two and a half feet wide on the bottom and about three feet wide on the top. Here's your controller for your electric stabilizer. You have your steel entry steps up here as we work our way back. You have your cable power connection so you can hang a TV on the outside wall right here and watch TV outside. Coming around this way, does not have an upgraded equalizer. Again, that's also a relatively affordable upgrade as well as tires. You can see that this has the Lion's Head 125 lifetime warranty. Over here, it has the solid step from LCI. What's nice about these is that they flip out, but they have this really long step up top or deep step, so it's easier to maintain your balance on. Coming around over here, you can see your outside kitchen, complete with sink. I love it when they put a sink in the outside kitchen. I also like it when they put a griddle out here. That's a very nice cook surface. And a micro refrigerator has a very long awning that spans most of this side. I do wish they would have expanded it back a little further this way just to cover up your outside kitchen area. Let's take a look inside of this 28 BHSS. All right, so as we come inside, let me pan around real quick. This is a mid-living kitchen unit. You have your kitchen area right here. Reasonable amount of countertop space right here. You have your nice cooktop here as well. Then you have your microwave above. Coming around, nice 12 volt electric refrigerator. So this is not a gas electric unit, but it's the Everchill 12 volt unit, which is actually really nice. You have a real good size pantry over here with hanging room for coats. So I would have liked to see some shelves or at least the ability to remove some shelves. I mean, shelves aren't hard to install. It's definitely a large enough pantry space for it, but not everyone's gonna hang clothes in here, but I do think people would use it as a pantry. So having either additional wire rack shelves right here or, you know, removable shelves would have been nice. Nice place to mount a TV and you know, it's relatively good seating angle. You're not directly in front of the TV with your seating, but you're offset slightly, but it's not too bad. And if you're sitting on this side of your dinette, you still have room to see the TV. This will convert into a bed. This will convert into a bed. So you can sleep, you know, roughly two people here, roughly two people here. But here is the magic with this unit. You have this very large rear bunkhouse easily capable of sleeping four children. One right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. You have a desk in here as well, so if you're gonna be homeschooling or if you're gonna be traveling and you need a place for them to study, plus a mount for a TV, some cabinet wardrobe space in here as well. 
nice bunk area. Your controls over here, nice cabinetry up here. Then you have some cabinets over here. Quickly look at the price. So this unit has an MSRP of $39,162 and they're asking $28,321. Not a bad value, especially if you need the space to sleep a lot of people. Coming back towards the bathroom area. So this bathroom has its own entry exit, has a nice cornered stand-up shower with glass door. And the toilet is not a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice countertop area right here, and some nice storage right here, plus you have a medicine cabinet with a mirror above it. Overall, pretty decent sized bathroom, especially considering how long this overall unit is. Now we're stepping into the bedroom area. Queen size bed, lots of storage on each side. A lot of room on each side. Not a lot of wardrobe storage though, that's what I'm noticing. You do have closets on each side of the bed as well as some cabinets above the bed but I'm not seeing a lot of place for clothes, right? So if you do have to use the closets here, they're very deep. You can easily fold your clothes and set them on the bottom here and hang some clothes up top here, put some clothes in these upper cabinets. But that's probably my biggest gripe with this specific unit. They have a good amount of storage in some other areas, just not a lot in the bedroom or the bunkhouse. But for a weekend trip, you know, how, how much clothes do you really bring with you? And in a unit like this, you can accommodate so many people. You know, the trade-off here is that you have room for so many people, just not quite as much laundry space. And that might be the reason to look at a pantry like this. You know, you could double utilize it as a spare closet if you need to. Overall though, this is a nice unit. Now keep in mind, this is something that is definitely three quarter ton truck towable. I wouldn't hitch this up to a half ton truck. You know, with 9,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, if you plan on packing a lot of people with you, if you plan on packing gear and supplies, things like that, you're gonna get rid of that really quick, especially if you're one of the people that travels with your tanks full. But there's a lot of reasons to like this unit. So this RV only has a single air conditioning unit installed. It's right back here. But it does have the capability of having a second one added because it's wired for it up front and the RV already has 50 amp connections on it. Overall though, it's a nice unit. You know, it's a good layout, good floor plan, lots of space considering it only has one fully extending slide. But it's definitely one I think people would enjoy the weekend in and you know have a lot of fun in. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.